Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what pops up in your tarot cards for the week ahead. Okay Aries, let's see what we get for you. Angel spirits guides, show us Aries week ahead of them. What do they need to see? What do they need to acknowledge? The energy of the Empress, the goddess of love, fertility, um, wealth, prosperity. Okay, the challenge to the Empress. There could be a mother or mother figure here. Um, there is a king of wands, a leader, fire sign leader, someone taking charge. Um, it could be your energy. So underlying the message here is, or underlying the energy is slow movement. Slow and steady Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, re most recent past page of swords. Air sign messenger, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone curious, asking questions. That could be your energy. On your mind, a page of coin, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. It could be a person a message you're receiving, some good news about money. The challenge is somebody is fiery. Okay, let's see. So what's in your future energy here? Truth, okay. So you get truth, clarity, news, or information. Now, you're, there is a hermit here, it could be a Virgo. You could be receiving wisdom from someone who's like an expert. It could also be someone who is going to um, go rogue, do something differently. Okay, your energy is queen of the coins. Very grounded, very stable, earth mother sort of energy. Very honest, very sort of like stable. Unless you're dealing with an earth sign... The energy of the environment is the wheel of fortune. Something here is turning in your favor, changing. Okay, Jupiter energy. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Two cards came out at the same time. There is something here about a death or a change in a situation. But you're wanting Nine of Cups. Something changes. So let's see. What is this death energy? What is the death? Scorpio. Eight of Coin. Okay. The ending of research, the ending of looking, the ending of learning. You may quit a job. I don't know. I mean, some of you may start your own business. Okay, there is a water energy coming forward. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Emotional movement. What is your energy as Queen of Coin? Or what is this influence of a Queen of Coin? Page of the water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, innocent, water energy. What is the wheel turning here? Okay, something was stuck or on hold. We have the hermit, could be Virgo, could be an expert, um, a wise person, someone who's like a sage. Okay, you do get the truth. There's very powerful feelings with the Ace of the Cups. Okay, what is this truth Aries is receiving, this news or information? Six of Swords, things get easier, smooth sailing. Could also be somebody coming back around you, but typically Six of Swords means Mercury Aquarius, things get easier, smoother. Um, what is the death of the Eight of Coin? Okay, something is going to be... 
at a crossroads where because something ends as far as um, looking into details, looking into specifics, you come out as queen of coin. You could be doing well financially. Um, the death of researching, something is over. What is the page of coin about here? Okay, three of wands, waiting, anticipating, looking forward to the future. What is getting easier for Aries? Someone is going to give some advice, some information, some instruction. Queen of the Swords. Oh, we do have the Sun. Okay, we have some positive energy here going on. The death of this looking into something closely. What is your energy with the Page of Cups influencing Aries here? The Magician. Okay, somebody, you're trying to fix something, you're trying to put it together, or someone else's. You're trying to, you've got ideas. There could be a Gemini. Why is the death of the Eight of Coin here? Why is this the end? Okay, there may have been something you were thinking about investing in. Six of Cups, friends, family. Okay, we have faith. We have friends, family, neighbors, siblings, and then we have here faith. There is something about mercy or something is being granted to someone. What is Aries getting in all of this? As Okay, there's going to be a lot of energy. Some of you could be relocating, transferring, moving. There's a lot of getting up and go energy. Um, there is the emperor here on the bottom. Someone is very empowered. There is a devil when a, with a four of swords. Someone doesn't want to talk to someone. Um, now... What we've got going on is someone could be very honest with you, giving you the truth or some news. Um, what is, it's usually someone pretty intelligent, Queen of Swords. What is this news or information? Okay, there may have been something about a struggle or something here that was very competitive. Somebody was putting up with something or staying motivated. Trying to stay motivated. Okay. Okay, we're getting confirmation. There's news or a page of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ten of Cups, Happiness, Bliss and fulfillment. What is the death energy about here? Ten of Swords. Okay, you you get clarity and truth and the ending of pain or the ending of some kind of painful situation. King of the Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Water Sign. What is the Sun and the Knight of Coin? There is something here about a blessing coming in on two people. What is the six of air? Things get easier. There could be celebrating. Um, what is Aries energy going to be influenced by? 
Wow, you're going to be influenced by this Six of Swords. There's a Ten of Pentacles, so some of you could be um, getting money, taking um, a loan. If something is working in your favor. Now, what is this wheel turning the world? So the environment changes. There is an assured success in something, and there is a victory in something. What is the magician here influencing Aries? Wow. Somebody could be manipulating something, but we've got the sun. So we have happiness. So show us what this outcome is for Aries for the week ahead. What's the outcome? There is going to be something here managed or um, patience. There is an, the goddess of love here, the empress. There is a wheel of fortune. There is something changing. What is the environment here with, with the hangman? There's a judgment. So there's a resurrection, a, re, um, a renewal. Divine timing at play. What is the change here? Oh, we have justice being served. Okay, let me see here what's coming in for you, Aries. Expectation. There could be something you're waiting for. There's a wealthy man. Be something to do with a job. You have a thief? <laughs> Who is this thief? There's a courtship. There's something with the community. Okay. What is this energy about affecting Aries? Wow. Somebody feels trapped, isolated, or alone. There is something here about a child. And a great fortune. Okay. There is a gift. All right, Aries. What's behind the gift? Coming out of the dark into the light. There is a high honor. There's an official person. There's a courthouse. The gift in the family room means it's kind of like a private gift. It's not public. This is like maybe between family or within a company. Okay. I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries. This is your weekly reading. Thank you for watching. Take care.